The Adventures of a Plastic Bottle, a story about recycling by Allison Inches. January 1st, Dear Diary, do you ever get the feeling that you were meant to do something? Right now, I'm a thick, oozing blob of crude oil deep underneath the ocean floor, and I've been here for thousands of years. But someday, I could make it into fuel like gasoline for cars or jets, or I even could be made into tar asphalt to help build roads. I hear something cranking and clattering above. I better go check it out. January 11th. Hi, diary. Guess what that noise was? It was a huge drill. I was sucked through a long, wide pipe and into the belly of a giant boat they call a tanker. Because the inside of the boat is specially designed to carry liquids like a big floating fish tank. <coughs> Slurp. The ship sailed for more than one week, and when it stopped, I was pumped into an oil refinery. Now I'll be put through the machines that will clean me and change me into a form that people can use to make lots of things like gasoline, wax, oil, and plastic. I wonder what's going to happen to me next. What will I become? January 13th. Dear Diary, the oil refinery was amazing. It whirred, it rumbled, it bubbled. I went through lots of changes and I got so hot that I just about disappeared when I turned into a light, misty gas. And just when things cooled down and I felt heavy again, it got hot and the whole thing started all over. It, the changes I went through were called polymerization. Before I knew it, I had become a pile of plastic crumbs. Can you believe it? Plastic! Some of the other crude oil that I've traveled with was turned into paste, some into a thick, clear liquid, and some became a powder. But we have one thing that's in common. We're all ready to be molded into a new shape. P.S. Hey, diary! Did you know that plastic comes from the Greek word plastikos? It means easy to mold or shape. Ah, highly fascinating. January 29th. Hi, diary. Guess what? I was sent to the manufacturing plant, and they heated me until all my little crumbs got nicely and squishy. While I was still warm, a machine squeezed me into a mold shaped like a bottle. When I cooled off, I was a beautiful, clear plastic bottle for real. I felt so light and sturdy as I tumbled into a bin with lots of other bottles. As many as 10 million plastic bottles can be made in a day. That's a lot of bottles going out to see the world and never coming back again. Cowabunga! January 20th. Hi-ho, diary. Today was full of fun. Being a bottle is great. I was clipped into a bottling line. Whee! I flew down the line and went round and round and up and down. Along the way, I was washed and sterilized. Then I was filled with fresh water. I even got a spiffy new label. They're putting all of us on bottles into boxes now. I can hardly wait to see what the rest of the world. More adventure awaits me. Tee hee. February 13th. Hey, diary. Today I arrived at the grocery store, loaded me into a refrigerator right in the front row where I had a great view of everything around me. The store was filled with plastic containers in all shapes and sizes. I wonder where we'll all go once we're left the store. Hmm, maybe I'll find out soon. February 14th. Guess what, diary? A boy bought me at the grocery store and took me to a park bench where he gulped down the cool water. The sun sparkled on the side of my bottle. Birds chirped and the tree above me. There were pretty flowers all around 
It was so beautiful that I don't want it to end. But then something even more wonderful happened. The boy rinsed and filled me with more water and put a flower inside me. It gave me to his mother. I had become a Valentine's Day present. She put me right in the middle of the dinner table. Nothing can be better than being a plastic bottle. I'm looking good. February 21st. Dear Diary, this week was so great. I wish it weren't over. I got to see so many interesting things like the grocery store and the park, and I was a great vase. The flower wilted and was put into the mulch pile to become fertilizer. Now I'm in a recycling bin, but I have lots of company. A soda bottle, a peanut butter jar, and an ice cream container. Where could I be headed next? What could be better than a life as a plastic bottle? February 23rd. Dear Diary, After I was picked up by the recycling truck, I was brought to the recycling center. This is where they sorted all of the different bottles and containers. I landed in a mountain of plastic bottles. Now I know where some of those other plastic containers from the store shelves ended up. Did you know we're all different kinds of plastics? You can tell what kind of plastic we are by looking at the number of the recycling sign on the bottom of the container. This afternoon, all of us plastic bottles got squished. Then we got stacked into big blocks called bales and loaded onto trucks. Here I go again. I was on March 16th. What a busy day, diary. I arrived at the plastic reclaiming plant where I'll be made into something brand new. I was sent down a line where I got shredded, washed, rinsed, and dried. I'm not a bottle anymore. Things started to heat up, and pretty soon I got all soft and mushy. Then I oozed through an extruder where I was squeezed out into long, thin strands like spaghetti. After that, I got chopped into small bits, like being a bottle. But I think I'm ready for new adventures. July 10th. Hey there, diary. I never thought I could be happier than I was as a plastic bottle, but I am. Can you guess what I am now? Did you know all of these things are made with recycled plastic? Pretty wild, huh? Did you guess, diary? I'm a synthetic fleece sweatshirt. Can you believe something as soft and warm as synthetic fleece was made from recycled plastic bottles? I went from crude oil to plastic crumbs to a plastic bottle to a vase and finally to a recycled fleece sweatshirt. I'm being worn by an astronaut and I'm headed up to space. Wow, diary. This journey has been out of this world. Here's a list of words that you can get familiar with. What I'd like you to do is inside your journal, I would like you to make a flow chart. So you'll start off with crude oil and you'll make an arrow down and then you'll put another box on inside your journal. And then you're going to write what the next step was. So the next step that our plastic bottle took was to be pumped out of the ground. Okay. Then the next step, I make an arrow. And I make another box. And I'm just going to continue to do this all the way until I make it all the way to the end of the story. So the next one, let's see, they got pumped out of the ground, shipped on a tanker. And I just keep on going in my journal and writing down whatever it is that the next step was until finally I get to the point where it's the... Um, the fleece that's going on an astronaut into space. After that, 
go ahead and read the directions and you'll find out what you're going to do next.